activity A is a predecessor for B and C. B and C are a predecessor for D. B is also a predecessor for E. C, D, E, a predecessor for F. E, D, um, C, and E is a predecessor for G as well. Okay, does anybody have the expected duration of each activity? Yeah. Yeah, for A, please. Sorry? What is the du expected duration of A based on better distribution? Two weeks. Thank you. For B? It's four weeks. Thank you. For C? Two weeks again. Thanks. D? Five weeks. E? Six weeks. Thank you. G? G is nine weeks and F is eight. Okay, very good. So now that we have the expected durations based on better distribution, we can go the forward direction. Okay, so we go for the forward direction. A can start at zero. Earliest finish is two. To, to stop me whenever you don't understand what's going on. Six, four. Is everybody following me? Six, 12. 12. And now here, for D would be maximum of six and four. For F would be maximum of four, eleven, and twelve, which is twelve. Is everybody following us? Twenty one, twenty. What is the earliest completion time of the project? Twelve weeks. What is the earliest time that we can complete the whole project? Oh, twenty weeks. Twenty-one. Uh, when can we claim that we have finished the project? When both F and G are done. Yeah, it will be so twenty-one. 21, very good. And what is the latest finish time for the project? Do we want the latest finish time to be 22? No. 21? Yes. Can it be 20? No, not unless we crash something. No, no, but without crashing, so... The latest finish time that we want to finish a project that the earliest finish time is 21 is 21. Notice that this activity also, the latest finish time is 21. This is a special situation that I wanted you to see. 
uh, in this case, both activities G and F are leaf activities. These are the last activities of the projects. Now we go through the reverse direction. Earliest finish time, uh, 21 would be minus 2 would be 12. 21 minus, uh, sorry, 21 minus 9 is 12. 21 minus 8 would be 13. Uh, this would be the minimum of what? This cell. Minimum of 12 and uh, 13. Very good. And this would be 13. This would be six. This would be, oh, this would be the minimum of uh, this uh, 13 minus five would be eight. Minimum of six and eight. This one would be what? A minimum of 8 and 13. Very good. And this one would be the minimum of? Two and six. Now we write down the slack time. Zero, one, zero, Two, zero. Oh, this is four and zero. Critical pass. What is the critical pass? We have to double arrow it. A, B, E, G. Very good. This is the critical path. And now, when we think about the whole project, the completion time of the project will have, although each activity has a beta distribution, based on central limit theorem, the whole project completion time will have a normal distribution. Expected completion time for the whole project is, 21 weeks. Very good. 21. The variance for the completion time for the whole project would be the variance of the activities on the critical path. So tell me, what is the variance of A? 4, 3, 5, 6. 5, 6. Very good. Uh, what is the variance of activity B? 0.1089. Uh, what is the variance of activity E? Notice I'm focusing on the critical path. Okay. So the variance of activity E, ladies and gentlemen. 1.7 repeating. Uh, can you tell me the calculation? Variance for E. How did you calculate it? Twelve minus four divided by six to the power of two, right? And then to the power of two. So, so this would be eight divided by six to the power of two, which is uh, one point three three, right? No. Yeah, yeah, it's 1.33, am I right? And then to the power of two. To the power of two, which would be? 1.7 repeating. 1.7, okay. 1.7, and finally, variance for G. Hi, Amir, I just have a quick question. Is it always uh, 
the expected finish time minus four? Uh, no, for, uh, do you have formula? Yeah, it says B minus A squared. Yeah, what is B? Uh, B is the, is the latest. Pessimistic, most pessimistic. Pessimistic, pessimistic finish? Uh, no, pessimistic minus optimistic. For each activity, it is pessimistic minus optimistic divided by six to the power of two. Okay. Okay, for G, please. One point seven repeating. Again. Hmm. Okay. One point seven 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 eight. We go to four decimal places, and. Uh, uh, this is the sum of the variances. So what is the sum of the variances? The sum is 4.1001. 1001, okay. Therefore, the standard deviation is about two. Oh, no, no, two point, what is that? Two point? Zero two four. Zero two four, okay. So this is the standard deviation of the completion time of the project. What is the chance that we will finish the project sooner than 24 weeks okay so to find to answer that question this is what we do 24 weeks is more than 21 weeks and the chance that we will finish the project sooner than 24 weeks is basically this area this is the chance of less than 24 weeks now the table in the book is based on Z values. So we have to f convert this 24 to Z, which is 24 minus 21 divided by a standard deviation. So what is the Z for this critical point? One point four eight two two. Four eight two two. So we are one point forty eight standard deviations above the mean expected time. What is the chance that we will what is the chance that we will finish the project before twenty one weeks? It should be zero? No. Like the expected completion time of the project based on the calculations that we did is 21. Basically the mean completion time is 21. Uh, what is the chance that we will finish the project sooner than 21 up to 21? 50%. The mean is 21. Half of the, you know, it's a symmetric curve. The chance of less than 21 is 50%. The chance that we will finish the project uh, less than 21, this chance is 50%. Of course, this is a normal curve. The area before the mean is 50%. But the question didn't ask less than 21, ask less than 24. So the chance that we will finish the project right at 21 is 50%, but there is also a chance that the project will finish sooner or later than 21. You know, if the expected completion time is 21, then there is a great chance that we will finish the project in 24 weeks. And the 24 is at 1.48 standard deviations above the mean. So Z is 1.48. Tell me what is the yellow area 
0.93056. This whole yellow area, we want to find Z point, Z1.48. Yeah, it's 0 0.93. You can say more than that. So the chance, this is more than, because Z is more than 1.48, right? So you have to say the chance is more than 93.056 or more than 93%. Good? So if the expected completion time is 21, the chance that it will finish after 24, uh, before 24 weeks is more than 93%. Is everybody following? Amir, so I'm on the table of 397, and then we go down and we try to find, I'm not sure where you got your 0 0.9. Oh, very good. So do you see the first column? Yes. What the is the column? first column? Z column, yeah. So you search for 1.4. Okay. And then go to the next column and next column until you see header is 0 0.8. Okay. So I found yeah. the number. Why do you go to 0 0.8? I guess is my question. Oh, because it's 148. Uh, maybe I highlight it. Z oh, here. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Any other question? Okay, so a more realistic scenario, so that was one question. The other question that you can be, should be able to answer is that, if you are the project manager, if you are the project manager, then, and you want to be at least, 99% confident in how many weeks will you promise to finish the project? Okay, so again, we think about what we know. We know that the project expected completion time is? 21. Very good. With a standard deviation of? 2.024. Very good. And now in the, at this question, we know the area that we want to cover. We want the, all of the possibilities up to the week that we promise. We're going to promise here. And we want that promise to cover 99% of all of the possibilities. We want to promise something that what will happen will be before that 99% of the time. So this area is 0.99. So please go to the normal table uh, in page 397 and find uh, the closest number to 0.99. Is it 2.57? I mean 99... 2.33? Yeah, 2.33. 2.33. Two, yeah, yeah, we can say 2.32 is less than what we want, but 2.33 is more than, a little bit more than what we want. And we want to satisfy our promise. So we go to Z equal to 2.33, not 3.2, because 3.2 is less than 99%. Thanks. Okay, so the chance of all of the, those things that happen less than 2.33 standard divisions above the mean is 90%. So what is this point? This point is the mean plus 2.33 standard deviations. So please tell me the result. Uh, it's 25.7159. 20.4. 
So 25.7159. 159. So will you promise that you will finish the project in 25 weeks? No. Will you promise that you will finish this project in 26 weeks? Yes. yes. Yeah. And then you will be more than 99% confident that you will be successful. Okay? Amir? Yes. Is there a formula for that last one you did there, the 21 plus 2.33? Or is that just something we should know? Oh, it is something that you should know from your statistics class. If you are at z equal to 2.33, you are basically, this is your mean, you are 2.33 standard deviations above the mean. So two, your, your mean plus z standard deviation. So this would be mean plus z standard deviation. Okay, cool. 